That was the spring of 1998. And we were supposed to be getting ready to go for a midweek church activity. Well, we we're all supposed to be getting ready. That is a nice little sister. I was busy distracting my older sister. I was sitting on her bed talking and talking while she was getting ready. And suddenly I stopped and I looked at her and I said, Hannah, what does it mean to be saved? I keep on hearing this word saved, but what does it mean? Well, she stopped what she was doing and she went, she got her Bible and sat down next to me and opened up God's word and shared with me how I could know for sure that I was going to heaven. She shared with me verses like Romans 3.23 that says, for all of sin, Come short of the glory of God. Romans 6, 23, for the wages of sin, the wrong things that we have done, is death. The free gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. And then she shared with me how God had sent his son to die on the cross for my sins. She shared with me verses like uh, Romans 5, 8 that says, but God showed his love for us. And that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. And then she shared with me that even at the age of five, I was not good enough to go to heaven. I had done things that were wrong. She shared with me Ephesians 2, 8, and 9 that says, For by grace are we saved through faith, and then not of ourselves. It is the free gift of God, not a result of work, so that no one could boast. And I remember sitting there at the age of five, and I realized that I personally needed to choose to put my faith and trust in God. And so I bowed my head, and I asked Jesus to forgive me of my sins and to save me, accepting what he did on the cross for me as payment for my sins. And then I went running in to tell my mom. I said, Mom, Mom, guess what? I'm now saved. I'm now a Christian. Now my mom being a very godly mother who really wanted her kids to understand the Christian words that they were saying before they started saying them. She turned and she looked at me and she said, Mary, don't use words you don't understand yet. And I said, no, mom, really, I am saved. So she said, okay, well, come with me. So she took me to her bedroom and shared with me again how I could know for sure that I was going to heaven. She asked me to bow my head and pray again. I'm like, mom, I've already done this. I'm already saved. But looking back, I am grateful that she cared that much to re-explain salvation, to make sure I understood the choice and the decision that I was making. She believed at that time that if I had truly chosen to place my faith and trust in God, that I would have no doubt in my mind later on that I would not forget that day. And she was right. Even though I don't know the exact date, I have never forgot the exact day I chose to put my faith and trust in God. Thank you.